In part of today's presentation, we're going to look at computer algebra systems. They're often called CASs. They are built on artificial intelligence based on list processing. Maxima, Maxima Mathematica, and Maple are all examples. Uh, you can find details about any of them by searching online. Maxima uh, was based on uh, Maxima uh, back in the 1960s from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Mathematica and Maple have kind of taken inspiration from that project. Maxima is uh, is open source, so it's kind of nice that it's free. <laughs> uh, these can do things. We're going to be investigating uh, differentiation. It can do something like uh, differentiate x cubed with respect to x and uh, produces a result real easily. Let's look at another more complicated example. <clears throat> Maybe the sine of 5 times x uh, to the seventh plus five plus uh, three times x. Say, let's do that with respect to x as well. Now, one of these systems actually uh, processes things in in the following way. Let me bring that over to here. Um, it takes a mathematical expression, it parses that expression and makes a well-formed formula or a nested list. Then it processes that nested list to produce another well-formed formula, which is the derivative, and then it produces the display. Now, we're not going to look at the parsing, and we're not going to look at the display. We're just going to look at the nested lists and look at the process that's uh, done to actually do the derivative on those. So, let's get rid of this for now. Uh, <clears throat> if you, the, the underlying working of all of that, the well-formed formulas and the processing will all be developed in the uh, PDF associated with this presentation. Here I've uh, produced the functions that are discussed in that presentation and we can actually the list power x5 is the well-formed formula for x raised to the fifth power. When we take the derivative of that well-formed formula it produces another list which is a well-formed formula. Here it is. It's a list that contains three parts. Prod this sublist and one. That means it's the product of whatever this well-formed formula is and one. This well-formed formula is itself a list of well-formed formulas. It's prod that has three parts. There's prod, five, and a well-formed formula, which is power x to the fourth. So let's just interpret all of that a little bit at a time. This first prod is saying that there's going to be a product. That product will be two things that are multiplied together. Now, one of them is a well-formed formula. The other one is a 1. So let's worry about this well-formed formula. Itself is a product. It's a product of 5 and a well-formed formula that's the power that's an x to the fourth. Now, of course, you and I, when would be simplifying this because it's just one times something, we would have just called that 5x to the fourth. 
and in fact what we've demonstrated is that the derivative does successfully take the derivative of x to the fifth power and produces the well-formed formula equivalent to 5x to the fourth.